Yes, that's right. It's time for a public service announcement, or what I like to call a movie review of Life of the Party. Now, here's the deal. My wife is telling me to be nice, and I'm trying to be nice when I talk about Life of the Party. It's a story, as if you've seen the trailer, it's very simple. A mom and dad drop their daughter off at college that they went to, and seconds, I mean, we're talking about the very beginning of the movie, as they drop her off, the husband declares that he wants a divorce. He's in love with his realtor, who's played by Julie Bowen, the unfunny Julie Bowen in this movie, I actually. And, uh, sorry, I'm trying to be nice. And so she, of course, is devastated, as she should be, because her husband's a pig. Anyhow, so she decides that she is going to go back to her final year of college, a.k.a. Rodney Dangerfield, uh, uh, and back to school and attend a college that her daughter goes to, which, as of course, daughter's not happy, and everything you can think of is going to happen in this movie. I sat in this movie like deer in the headlights. I was blinking every so often like, this movie's not funny at all. Yet people around me were hooting and hollering and having a good time. And I kept watching the movie from like the corner of my eye like, and my wife trying to see if she was laughing. And I honestly didn't see her laugh. But um, I, I don't know, man, this movie is bad. It's really, really bad. I'm funny. Now I will say, what can I say good about this movie? Uh, well, 75% of the way in, there's this hilarious plot twist I didn't see coming. Uh, is it enough to save the movie? No. Uh, Maya Rudolph is very, very funny in this movie until she's not. It's one, the same joke over and over again, and where it's funny in the beginning and then you're still laughing, it becomes unfunny as she does it for the 10th, the 20th time in this film. I, uh... I'm, I'm sorry, folks. I love Melissa, uh, just probably like you do. But, she, man, she, I don't know who thought that she could carry this movie the entire way, who thought it was funny. They just, what, gave her money and said, just go be whatever you want to be and do whatever you want to do. Because the jokes for me fell flat. I was just, I want my time back. I, I don't, I don't, I'm, I'm, again, I'm trying to be nice. Uh, it is Mother's Day weekend. I'm sure a lot of people are going to go out, and I'm sure a lot of people will disagree with me. But let me tell you something, folks. Uh, you should save your money on this. Uh, it, it, do you wait for it to come out on Netflix or Hulu or DVD? Uh, no, because it's still a terrible movie. Um, I wanted it to be funny. I wanted a good. My wife tells me I was just too tired, and maybe uh, that's why I didn't think the movie was funny. And she probably enjoyed it a little bit, but man, all the jokes fell flat for me. I saw them coming a mile away, except for the big twist, which I'm not going to reveal. Uh, it's still not worth seeing this movie. So, folks, um, do yourself a favor. Skip this one. Do yourself a favor. Don't watch it when it comes out on video or uh, Hulu or whatever, because. It's a complete waste of your time. In fact, I'm, uh, I'm gonna give this movie an F. Uh, even those little things, was, was that enough to bring it up maybe to an E? No, no, this is a time waster. Uh, this is a money waster. Uh, this is an all around waste of everything. Uh, <sighs> go see Avengers again, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, or go take your mother to, I'll, I'll do something. Go somewhere else, just don't go. See this movie. I'm gonna, all right, that's enough. I'm, trying, I'm gonna stop talking. Uh, I'm Chuck the Movie Guy uh, again uh, at themovieguy.com for more reviews and interviews. Uh, um, just be nice. Be nice. <laughs> uh, just what a what a horrible movie.